Hey, Mike Phillips down here, 3D Garage, sunny Stewart, Florida. This is a 1967 Oldsmobile 442. Uh, this is a four-speed car. It has every factory option. And the finish is in good shape, but it's not show car quality. It has light swirl scratches and water spots. So uh, the owner has asked me to kind of warm it over and get it ready for display. And to do that, I'm gonna use 3D Speed and I'm gonna use the Flex Red Beast inside. And because speed is a fast product, I can usually knock these things out pretty quick. I'm gonna time myself. And right now in Stewart, it's, it's 10 minutes after seven. So I'll come back and make a video when I'm all done and we'll see how long it took me to do this. Stay tuned, mic out. Okay, so real quick, just a uh, little bit of before. Like I say, this, this ain't bad, okay? Real light swirls, pretty uniform throughout the car. Some places are worse than others. That's an old school trick. Put some socks over the uh, wiper arms so you don't gotta come back and detail them later. Um, I always cover up the fresh air grill so you don't get uh, splatter down into there. There's already some splatter in there. Here's something else I wanted to show you though. These old school cars like this, can you see it? Let me put some light on there. That is a fuzzy gasket. So fuzzy gas is fuzzy. So before you start buffing it out, see it? Fibers, it's like fuzzy fibers. You wanna tape this off because it's just a real pain in the butt to try to come back here with a toothbrush and get it all out. Plus a lot of times when they're old, you'll tear it up. So um, just tape that stuff off. Um, like I said, I've already cleaned and dressed the wheels and tires. Um, waterless wash. I use 3D wipe actually. The windshield, ooh, or the back window. I need some polishing on the outside, probably the inside. Let's see. There, see right in there, There's you can kind of see that water spot there. And they're kind of throughout the whole finish. So, you know, some people look at this and go, wow, that's a really beautiful car. A trained eye, you know, from an experienced detailer you know, we look at it and we just think, no, it needs some help. It, you know, it's, it's a show car. It should look like a show car. And right now this does not look like a show car. Also, this has painted on stripes. So of course, when you're buffing this, you just wanna be very careful not to buff on top of it. Cause usually the pinstripe paint is softer than the actual paint. Anyway, uh, time to get polishing on this thing. Done. Okay, so I think I started just a little bit after seven. Let's look at the old clock here. It is just turned 10 o'clock. Here's what I use, speed. For a couple of the deeper scratches, I added a little bit of 510. There's the uh, red beast inside. I thought I'd show you this pad because you see how it's black? This car has a lot of uh, nickel and chrome and it's all tarnished. So in, you don't tape off this, that kind of stuff on these old classic cars. You run your buffer over it. It removes the tarnish and the oxidation and shines it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 pads. I've always noticed most guys don't use enough pads, but let's just do a little quick walk around and you know it looked good when it was here but look at the look at the rich richness of color the depth and the gloss and this was all done using speed and an eight millimeter gear driven orbital polisher and you know I have people always ask me how I'm able to turn out cars so fast and look I just you know there's nothing wrong with free spinning polishers but I just don't waste my time with them you know, you always gotta um, monitor to see if the pad's rotating. It, I call that brain drain. Uh, with the gear driven tool, you just turn it on, point it where you want it to go, and go. And that, you know, this includes polishing out all of the chrome. Massive chrome and um, nickel uh, trim on this thing. And this also, the three hours it took me to buff this out, also includes knocking out the louvers, okay? Got all the scratches out from around the louvers. Anyway, really came out good. I'll come back in here tomorrow morning 
and um, I'm gonna apply 3D Beat It Up. You know, cause uh, I always like to put that polymer sealant on everything. It makes everything slippery, turns the surface hydrophobic, and the owner can use it to take care of the car moving into the future. Wow, this really came out good. Mike out.